You rocking with pettyblog.com. I can't be on the petty blog. <laughs> So they already know that I'm dropping a T. So let's get right into it. So Kel Mitchell's ex-wife has made some allegations about him and Nick Cannon. And for those who are like Kel who? Kel from the Cannon and Kel show back in the day. But yeah, so she took to TikTok with this post that says, you can definitely be blinded by love. Remembering when I came home early to Nick Cannon wearing my full cheerleading uniform, including the briefs, doing cheers on the bed for my ex-husband, Kel Mitchell, to cheer him up because he cheated on me. Wow, what? And to be petty, she put the Beyonce drunken love song on top of it. But did she just write that she caught her man at the time with another man wearing her clothes and doing pom-pom dances in her bed and all to make him feel better because he stepped out on her? Lord, I cannot. And of course it's believable because what incentive does she have to lie, especially now? And for two, Nick and Kel are really close friends till this day. They've always been. I'm talking Nick Cannon said, Kel would let me sleep in his apartment clothes. And now that she said this, I don't even want to think what was going on in there. How you doing? And Nick Cannon was actually on a Kenan and Kel show back in the day cross-dressed on some shenane stuff looking like they were impersonating baps girl you know i love working here so all this is super believable and let's not forget that time that nick cannon killed it on the pole without any effort what we wonder if those were the same dances that he did for kel i'm just saying nah but seriously these are two men who have children and who sleep with women and for nick quite frequently at that so it would be a shame if he was on the low because yes you can like who you like but don't string unsuspected women along that lifestyle with you if they accept it cool but don't blindside them unfortunately there are way too many unsuspected women who have men who do similar things to what kel's ex-wife claims nick and kel did and it's devastating to think about just imagine the shock and how long she took to process it and apparently is still having flashbacks of and still processing right look it's one thing if a man is a proud gay man or whatnot but the dl thing is a big no-no there's no reason to hide you either are or you're not like can you imagine her shock at catching that but let's quickly slide over to social media because i could not not show y'all this Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Ooh. I like that. You like that? internet wins every single time but do y'all think that Nick and Kel were just innocently playing around? Or they were trying to be low being that she came home early? Okay, so this just in. Nick Cannon actually did respond to these allegations. He commented under a blog and wrote, Crying, laughing, crying, laughing, crying, laughing. Yup, probably had the big ear of corn, a bunch of orange soda, and a couple of kids' choice awards up our ass too. Crying, laughing. Wow, okay, so I kind of don't get it, but I kind of do. I know Kel used to love orange soda, but he's trying to say that it's bullshit. Do y'all believe him? Do y'all believe him? Let us know below. We want to know your overall thoughts, so leave them below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel for more. And don't forget to hit that bell to join the notification gang.